Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to calculate the difference in time uh, between two cells that have time in them. So we gave a blood glucose reading at 7.25 a.m. and we gave insulin at 8.05. That's going to be equals D2 minus B2. Notice it says 12.40 a.m. Just right click, format cells, get rid of the a.m. and p.m. And look at my sample right there. It shows 40 minutes. Click OK. And that is 40 minutes. Auto fill it down and you're good to go. <clears throat> if you notice, I got some pound symbols here. That was intentional. And the reason we have pound symbols is if you ever go, I'm going to change this to 11.55 p.m. We should get four minutes. I'm sorry, 11.59 p.m. Should get four minutes. And if you go to 12.05 a.m., so that's 10 minutes apart, I get pound symbols. It doesn't matter how wide I make column E, I'm always going to have those pound symbols. What happens is when you run across midnight in Excel, time gets a little bit weird. So here's how you take care of that. You do equals if. I'm going to say if D2 is greater than B2, comma, take D2 and subtract B2, comma, value of false, I'm going to say D2 plus 1 minus B2. Still got the 40 minutes, pull it down, and now we have 10 minutes. So there's your if statement right there that'll take care of time going across midnight. Hopefully that helps. I'll have another video on how to put in time by just typing four digits. So if you type in 1300, that'll put it at 1 p.m. And if you did uh, 1330, it'll do 1.30 p.m. So check out that video. If you need training in Metro Atlanta, please call me.